We welcome you inside of Aya Fiecia Local, <laughs> something like that. That's the name of, that of a horrible. volcano in Iceland. We welcome you. It's 2016. Lori and I are bringing you an update on Iceland. Okay, Iceland has a long Christian television history. Yes. Eric and his wife, Kristen, Eric Erickson, what a perfect name, yeah. by the way, to do Christian TV in Iceland. And so he is several generations Icelandic, Eric is, and his entire family uh, are stewarding over Christian television. Lori and I and our family, our boys, Kaylin and Cody, were there this year, 2016. So we're doing a bit of an update on what's happening year in 2016. Yep. <clears throat> Equipment is being bought. And here's the thing, okay? So back in the day, uh, it was my dad, Paul Crouch, 1992, okay? Yes. And we started helping Eric get Christian television. We bought the most powerful transmitter that the island had ever had, okay? <laughs> and so I think it was 1,000 watts. That's, that's not that big of a deal. But, uh, but what happened, absolutely. Yeah. What, what happened, though, is the, is the government changed and required that all the language uh, of Iceland would be in Icelandic. And it was very difficult with the small budget that Eric had uh, to be able to do uh, the translation. So there was a little bit of TBN Christian programming. Okay. Just over the last couple of years, recontacted with Eric and his wife and went up there. Been up there a couple of times now. And they have just been issued their new permit for a new channel in English. And so what we're talking about is getting all of the TBN channels in English in Iceland right now. Order or equipment's being ordered yes. and Iceland uh, is about to have a fresh wave of new Christian broadcasts. Iceland is in the crosshairs of Christian television right now, 2016. Take a look at our visit. We just got back from right there in Iceland. to summertime in Iceland. Eric Erickson, this is summer, isn't it? Yeah, this is summertime for me. <laughs> okay, and your first time on a glacier. Yeah, first time. Your first time in a helicopter. Yes. Okay, uh, I, wanna, I want you also to celebrate that this is the first time that TVN has been able to operate 24 hours a day, a brand new English language channel in fact multiple channels the license has been granted tbn is coming to iceland beautiful iceland was settled by a combination of viking explorers celts norwegians and people from the british isles in the late 9th century and for a thousand years remained under the rule of various nordic european states as of 1994, the independent Republic of Iceland was birthed by a near unanimous vote and is today home to over 327,000 proud Icelandic citizens. Although largely Christianized early on due to the influence of Gaelic and Irish monks and the Evangelical Lutheran Church, Iceland, like so many of their European descendants, has fallen away from the faith of their fathers and finds itself in desperate need of the message of hope and grace in Jesus. Thankfully, God hasn't fallen away from them. In the early 90s, the Lord called upon Eric Erickson to start a Christian television station with no experience or resources at his disposal. Through an amazing set of circumstances, the Lord would ultimately unite Eric with Paul Crouch, and the rest, as they say, is history. The, the TV and partners all over the world are celebrating the good news, a brand new transmitter, uh, a brand new playout facility will be coming to Iceland to serve this part of the world. And then also we're gonna be able to help you with content for your channel that goes into Scandinavia by satellite. So a lot of really amazing new good news here in Iceland. It's a total breakthrough. It's a totally new day for us, you know, because uh, 
we have been running now for 24 hours, started with a small 10 volt transmitter, then it starts to increase, increase. And this is a, uh, possible because uh, God's uh, people see the opportunity to reach uh, new places where people don't know so much about the gospel. And now we have the possibility to have a uh, flowing into a home of Iceland people, uh, TPN, uh, many many different yeah. channels, and, and they're flipping uh, through the channel, but they will only find a Christian channel, <laughs> and that's a great victory. <laughs> you know, during this broadcast, we're going to tell you how this kind of started yeah. back in the day when Papa yeah. came to yes, Iceland, yeah. and um, uh, now they're going to be able to get uh, a, a mux uh, of TBN, the, yeah. the mother channel, yeah. the Hillsong channel, yeah. Smile of a Child, Juice. Uh, Juice. We're going to have it all on yeah. like one channel here. And so yeah. that's just going to yeah. be amazing. I feel like we mm -hmm. should be staking a flag here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it yes. feels like we're on top of the moon and we should be putting a TBN flag or, or a, some kind of a flag, you know. Yeah to see this kind of stuff again we're standing on a glacier I'm, i don't think i've ever stood on a glacier before Never. Never. um this could be the moon except yeah, i don't think maybe. the moon gets <laughs> snow but um you know when, when you hear about the earth is the lord's and the fullness thereof and all yeah. they that dwell therein there's nothing like a place like this to remind you this is god's country this is the faithfulness of you just staying put getting your uh, vision accomplished yeah. here, TBN coming alongside of you, the partners of TBN coming alongside to help the vision of Christian TV for this part of the world. So, from top of a glacier in the summertime, no this complaint. is a place in the world where the tectonic plates of Europe yeah, yeah. and North America collide. Yeah, this is yeah. the only place they can be seen, and we're standing on top of a volcano, a glacier, right here in Iceland celebrating the good news multiple channels soon on the air right here in Iceland What happened in about 1992 93 and 94 I want to hear a little bit about that that was an amazing story um, God spoke to me in a very clear way to start a Christian TV station in Iceland Okay. And that was early in the morning, and I said to the Lord, yes, I'm, I want to obey you because you're calling me to do this. I want to do it. And uh, at that time, I had nothing, <coughs> nothing. But the Lord instructs me, just go and pray, and I will show you how to do it step by step. And, uh, of course, my wife, she woke up, and I told her, you know, the Lord spoke to me to start a Christian TV station. <laughs> She and she said. said no. No, she said no. <laughs> <laughs> she said, be very carefully. Yeah. Are you sure? Yes, yeah. I'm sure. I knew that. <laughs> wow. And so Eric started to pray, seeking the Lord on how to carry out this seemingly impossible mission. The only thing he had to hold on to was the Lord's assurance that he would show Eric what to do step by step. So right away in that morning, I start to, in my prayer room, pray. And I prayed one hour, two hour, three hour, and a certain way I felt some inspiration and direction. And this I did for every single day because I didn't know how to do it. So I just uh, called the government people to ask, you know, about the uh, transmitter, frequency, and technical things. And they was a little bit skeptic. I could hear it, you know. They say, oh, he crazy, you know. He don't know what he's doing, you know. But uh, they gave me all the information. And then I, I said, you know, to myself, Eric, you need to get a transmitter. And in some way, I get in contact with some person in Iceland, and he had a 10 watt transmitter. And so I asked him, you know, are you able to sell this uh, transmitter? No, we maybe can rent this transmitter to you. And I felt that, that was even better, you know, because I don't have the fund, you know, to pay cash. So he said, you know, call me a week later, you know. I did, and they said, you know, yes, we had decided we want to rent you this transmitter. And so that was the beginning of the first transmitter of uh, Omega television in Iceland.
What Eric Erickson wasn't aware of, however, was that as he was taking baby steps to faithfully follow the Lord's call to bring Christian television to Iceland, the Lord was already sending in reinforcements. A little airplane would soon make a fateful overnight pit stop on its transatlantic trek to Russia with none other than Paul Crouch on board. Shortly before departing the next morning, Dr. Crouch sat down for some coffee, picked up a newspaper, and read about a tiny new Christian television station. And now, and we're talking about 1993-94, my father, Paul Crouch Sr., was here in Iceland and, and just picked up the phone and called to the little channel that you'd just barely been on the air, and what happened? I was very surprised. And when I talked with the phone, I, I heard a very loud and clear voice say, this is to Dr. Paul Kraut speaking. <laughs> this is a Christian uh, TV station. <laughs> and so I thought, oh, someone is joking because it was almost... <laughs> you thought somebody was joking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I thought someone was joking at me, you know, because it was uh, almost unbelievable because I tried to get in contact with, with Dr. Paul Kraut, but uh, no result. Yeah. So, so I was very surprised to have this phone calling this morning, you know. Then he said, you know, I am on my, I am in Keplavik, I am on my way to Russia, Russia. Russia. Yeah. I have my information in my hand. While we were there, Norm Ugard, our attorney and, and board member, just happened to pick up a newspaper, just lying on the little, you know, coffee shop table. And he said, Paul, look at this. Christian television created. Iceland's first Christian television station has begun broadcasting activity in, in Reykjavik. So I thought, oh, maybe he got my fax. Mm. No, he never got my fax. He was just landing in the capital week, stay over the night, and in the morning he was drinking coffee, and when they were leaving, he was just going through some English uh, newspaper, and in the newspaper was a small article, the first Christian TV station in Iceland. Our journey today takes us, of all places in the world, to the frozen shores of Iceland. The capital city, Reykjavik, its nearest major city, Keflavik. And would you believe, to the studios of Channel 53 and our host today, Mr. Eric Erickson. How are you, sir? Very fine, thank you. Very happy to have you in Iceland. The good news is... Yeah. Iceland Christian Television is on the air, huh? Yes, on, on, on the air, broadcasting day and night. 24 hours a day already? Yes, yes, already, yes, reaching the people in Iceland for the first time. Well, now, what we are seeing here, dear friends, I think is a very, very basic television studio. I see at least one camera, a desk, a couple of curtains, in fact, uh, shades of 111 West Dyer Road in the early days of Trinity Broadcasting that I have just been writing about. But uh, Eric, you must be doing a little bit of local Christian programming, are you not? Yes, we have uh, started now, and we are now on Sunday on, in direct broadcasting and uh, telling the people good news. And, and for the first time, we can share the true story about Jesus and his power and his second coming and how people can get safe and come to the Lord. It's a very excited opportunity for the first time. Eric, uh, show me one more thing. I see another map on the wall over here, and uh, uh, this makes it look like Iceland is sort of the center of the whole world here. Uh, we believe in Iceland. Uh, Iceland is centrum of the world. We believe so. And, uh, so the uh, other vision, I understand, is to create a, a mighty shortwave radio station that yes. would yes. could again almost cover the whole world from here. And from Iceland, I know Ben Miller, our director of engineering, says that this is an ideal spot to hit Europe and even the Middle East over here with a powerful uh, radio signal right into the heart of Jerusalem and uh, the... Israel and all of the Middle East, as well, of course, as all of Europe and even parts of Africa. And, uh, and I have been praying uh, many times, Lord, uh, how many transmitters are, are we going to use and how big they are going to be and like that. So uh, I just uh, have a um, believe word from the Lord that we shall have a four superpower transmitter. 
Mark, Lucas, John, and <laughs> name them like the, the gospel. And we shall uh, broadcast in all, all four directions and reaching the whole world for the Lord Jesus Christ. Though Paul Crouch would have to continue on to other obligations in Russia, he didn't forget about the people of Iceland. Approximately one month later, Dr. Crouch would send TBN Director of Engineering Ben Miller back to the island nation, along with a brand new transmitter. Overnight, Omega TV went from 10 watts to 1,000 watts and signed on to the most powerful station in the entire country. We are here now realizing that the seed that was planted yeah. Yeah. in you yeah. grew. Excellent. You have, yeah. you know, other channels, you have much Christian television on the air now here in Iceland. And, and so what I want to tell the partners, you know, 2016, that we planted, the partners of TV and planted a seed yeah. Yeah. with Eric Erickson, yeah. Omega TV right here and many years later we come back and understand that there are no longer seeds here but a big fruit bearing tree exists. Christian television has expanded. What is happening today 2016 in the island nation and beyond with Christian TV? It's amazing of course we, we reach now all Iceland every, yeah. every single town. And we are, of course, we, we have also been able to send it to Scandinavia mm. and to all Europe. By satellite. By satellite, to, on wow. two satellites. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> my dad would be so proud yes. of you. Yes, I know, I know. He was so yes. thankful when I you know that I was starting in Scandinavia. He was so thrilled, you know. He said, awesome. Eric, this is wonderful, he said. And so um, in that way, uh, the TPN came in like a family. They helped yeah. us. I was struggling. I'm almost uh, on my last uh, metis, and yeah. uh, and uh, after 24 years, we have uh, survived, and we have grown up from this seed that was sowing. Yeah. And as we told, we are big tree now, and now we are believing in an uh, ongoing success. And uh, of course, uh, the new technique today is a high definition, and yep. and also in my heart, you know. Um, we like to take uh, more program from TPN uh, without any uh, hindrance and, and sweep it all over Iceland. What's exciting is that Christian television in Iceland isn't just about reaching the nation's 300,000 inhabitants. It's also about reaching the rapidly growing tourism boom the country has been experiencing over the last several years. In 2015 alone, Iceland received over 1.3 million visitors, and recent reports show that 2016 is already up another 23%. And it's an amazing time because even in the winter time now, tourism is really flourishing. Uh, you know, a, a couple of movies got shot here, a couple of TV shows got shot here, and all of a sudden yeah. you have a, uh, an eruption of one of your, it was, it was Mount blah, 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 and, and it went off in 2010. And all of a sudden, everyone, the world knows of Iceland. It brings tourism, it brings industry here. And the helicopters fly over with tourists looking at the geysers. Okay, this is all very normal for you. This is very not normal for us. We don't see smoke coming out of the ground. Uh, and we're basically standing this entire nation yeah. is one big volcano, kind of. I mean, there's hundreds of volcanoes yeah. here. In fact, Iceland has over 130 volcanoes, 30 of them quite active. But volcanoes are only one of a myriad of marvels that draw people to Iceland from all over the world. Whether it be the otherworldly geysers and hot springs, towering waterfalls, majestic glaciers, black sand beaches, or the sight of the famed Aurora Borealis dancing across the night sky. Iceland is truly one of the most wondrous places on Earth. It's easy to understand why those who first discovered the island conspired to keep it a secret from the rest of the world. When people come to Iceland, they are very surprised. They said, you know, we, we thought it was an icy place. Now we see this is a green place because when the people found this country a thousand years ago, they make a decision 
let us call this country Iceland and the icy place have that called Greenland because we want to have this country for ourselves. This is why we are only 330,000 people. And today we have an explosion in uh, visitation and they say, you know, we have never seen such a beautiful country. And so we are very thankful for our country. Though God has raised up Omega TV to be a beacon in this remarkable land, it doesn't mean it's without its challenges. For quite some time, the government has imposed regulations that every television program must be subtitled into the Icelandic language. This is a very expensive, very labor intensive process that makes it quite cost prohibitive to bring in TBN's higher quality English language programming. It's truly a missed opportunity as every child learns English in school and a vast majority of the country now speaks it fluently, including 100% of the population under 25. Yet there is a glimmer of hope. You realize, Eric Erickson, that you have one of the most beautiful countries really in the world. This is really an amazing place. The gospel now is coming to Iceland in a way that it is uh, going to be easier because English language is very much understood here. A hundred percent of you know the youth, 25 and under, really understand English, speak English fluently. So now the new permission of a new license coming that is now in your hands so we can have 24 hours a day in English where before we had to translate into Icelandic. Yeah, it makes it totally different. Because, yeah. uh, as you said, everybody in Iceland understands English perfectly. So that would be 24 hours uh, reaching Iceland day and night. And that's a totally new thing for us in Iceland. Today. And so what we're celebrating on a, this is, this is the side of a volcano. So at any second it could erupt and, you know, we'll just be in heaven together. So, but while we're standing here, we're going to enjoy snow-capped mountains in the background and a lake and you have all of the steam kind of coming up. Uh, this is really magnificent. Our playout system is uh, quite old. We need a high definition playout for uh, four channel. Okay and uh, we need some encoded to take the program from the playout system and take it to the cable. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's uh, very important now because we are in the last minutes with the program, okay. with the playout system. Okay, so um, when you say you're in the last minutes, that means you have an old piece of equipment yeah, that's about yeah, to die. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Almost, that's almost. Not a crow. <laughs> it can happen any time. <laughs> okay. It's going to freeze to death, I think. <laughs> so, it is almost dead, and we came in the nick of time again. Yeah. So this was an amazing, yeah. as unique as my dad reading a newspaper yeah. back in the, in, in the early 90s and seeing a little piece of, of the newspaper and calling you. We weren't sure if we could be in contact with Omega TV. We were looking for you, and one of the most amazing stories is that we emailed you and said, are you still there? Hello from America, Iceland, are you still there? And, and uh, back comes the email from mm -hmm. you saying, we were just talking about you yes, the day exactly. before, yeah. and we're so glad mm -hmm. to hear from you. We're here today. Yeah, uh, if you just tuned in, yeah. the ground beneath us is molten lava. <laughs> we are in Iceland. It is 2016. Eric Erickson is good seed, yes. a good man. My dad would be so proud yes. that he would come yeah, back yeah. and yeah. in 2016 yeah. 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 find good seed yeah. sown. Eric Erickson truly is good seed sown. Coming from many generations of Icelandic people who raised horses and worked the land, Eric heard the voice of the Lord to step in a new direction and, with the help of TBN, planted one 1,000 watt transmitter that 20 years later has grown into satellites and an impactful presence in every city in the country. Today, the people of Iceland are getting Christian television because Eric Erickson proved 
faithful over little, and so the Lord has made him a steward over much. Just day before you contact me, I, I, you're praying my wife together, you know, and I told her, you know, it would be wonderful to have a TPN coming again, you know, <laughs> as you can flow, you know. And, yeah. and we contacted yeah, you the day, next day. Next day, you, you know. know what? Wow. Wow. The, the cool thing about this is that the sovereignty of God is so That's awesome. precious, yeah. and He's so faithful yeah. that Papa would do yeah, what He yeah. did. Yeah, oh, yeah. We do. Now, yeah, what we're yeah, doing, we're yeah, here for yeah, you, and yeah, yeah. and God is good. This yeah, morning, I was walking yeah, yeah, around yeah. and out in the snow, yeah, yeah. and um, the scripture and the whole earth is full of His goodness yeah. and His glory covers the earth. That was just rolling around in my spirit yeah, this yeah. morning. That's what's happening right here in Iceland, and I believe that this is the perfect timing, perfect place for God to do something great and powerful. I I feel that I am in a TPN family. I, I'm thankful for uh, the people uh, that are supporting uh, TPN, think about supporting uh, Iceland. And when we just got the high power transmitter, we didn't only see the high power transmitter, we saw thousands or thousands or thousands of people behind this uh, high power transmitter. Everybody was sowing seed, and the result is abundant. Salvation, healing, powerful outreach of the good news in Iceland through this powerful network. And I'm so thankful for uh, TPN, the partners, and uh, I'm so thankful for uh, Matt Krauts and his wife. Now he's carrying on the same vision, same vision faithfully. So I, I, I say, you know, we have to really be thankful for uh, what God has done through these pe people because this is not easy task to run a huge network that is sending the good news around the world day and night in mostly all the country of the world. So I say thank you so much, dear partner of TPN. I am in your family, you are in my family, we just are like one people. And I'm very thankful, I say, may God continue to bless you and reward you 100 times in this life and life to come, because that's a promise in the Bible. Jesus said, you know, who should have a sacrifice for me or for the gospel's sake, will get it 100 times in this life and life to come as well. Thank you and God bless you. It's 2016, we're in Iceland and Christian TV is still on the air through Omega TV Praise and it's Lord. awesome, it's amazing. In the 43 yeah. year history of Trinity Broadcasting, how many seeds were planted yeah. by the partners of TVN around the world yeah. that when we've come back, Years later, we didn't find seeds in the ground still. We found full-grown trees that were bearing fruit. Good seed, good foundations, good people, strong people, people that don't even get cold. His hand is just, I, it's just hot. His hand is hot. And, <laughs> it is Iceland, it is 2016, and we have Christian television on the air Praise through Lord. Omega TV. So, as my dad would say, he probably did this with you yeah. when he did the rolling. Yeah. So, from Reykjavik, capital city of Iceland, goodbye. God love you, we love you, and remember, let everything that has breath, I'm sticking with English. Let's just praise, praise the Lord. The Lord. God bless you all. Amen. <laughs>